Alrighty, so the David Pakman Jesse Lee Peterson saga continues. Uh, if you guys recall, this is quite a good uh, little thing going on. I always found it very interesting. So basically, they fir he first David Pakman first went on Jesse Lee Peterson's radio show. He went on there, um, and then you see he like sort of did his thing. I felt like he presented arguments pretty well. Um, and then the second time around he was booked, he goes on and during the appearance, he actually got kicked off because what Jesse Lee Peterson would do was, is he would ask like a question and then he wouldn't let David respond. And he would be like, Oh my God, like you're not responding. You're talking over me and not responding to the question. And it was honestly so bad that, uh, even the producer basically was on David's side. And then, a bunch of the commenters, which, by the way, if you want to see the total, you know, craziest people of, you know, all of the human race, I mean, just go to a Fallen State video and look at the comments. It's a bunch of brainwashed morons. It's insanity. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> even the comments had a bunch of people defending David Pakman. So when you have the Fallen State brainwashed commenters actually uh, supporting David and saying that he was right... You know it's really bad. So he goes to L.A. This is in L.A. It's a live recording. And they do this interview, which is interesting to say the least. Boy, oh boy, this is hilarious. If you guys haven't watched this interview, I really recommend it. I'm going to be doing like multiple video breakdowns of the stuff in here because, oh my goodness, it's so, so hilarious. Now, this one, we're going to listen to the... Uh, most philosophical debate about socialism that has been had, um, you know, all throughout. We're going to basically you've got David Pakman and you've got Jesse Lee Peterson, who essentially is the Noam Chomsky of the right, you know, very intelligent, basically a history book personified, right? That's that's what we've got going here. Anyways, before we do that, I want to show you guys something hilarious. They started out the live stream by actually having just like awkward video footage of just them sitting. I'm not I'm not kidding at all. Look at this. <laughs> we are amazing. Welcome yeah, that, that was really, really, really painfully awkward to watch. But uh, he has that really awkward, like, forced laugh. And it's weird because Jesse Lee Peterson, he only has one face. That's, like, no matter what he does, it's all essentially the same face. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but any face that he makes, it's basically the same goddamn thing. Like, nothing really changes. Um, but also another thing to note about Jesse Lee Peterson is, is that the amazing that he says, like, that's, that's his like thing. Like that's his saying, apparently, whenever he hears something that he finds to be insane or outlandish or ridiculous, he goes, he goes amazing. Like, <laughs> as in like, wow, like, wow, that's, that's pretty crazy stuff. And this is quite the fruitful conversation that they ended up having. Um, they go into multiple different topics and, it is pure comedy, and I can't wait to get into all the other stuff, but today we're just going to be looking at specifically the actual thing about socialism. So what they're going to end up talking about, um, I forgot, I th oh sorry, they seg somehow managed to segue from the Me Too movement, um, which is propagated by the children of the lie, by the way. Uh, he They somehow go from the Me Too movement and segue into socialism because obviously uh jesse lee peterson believes that they that the democratic party is the socialist communist party they probably are telling the truth no right? they're doing it because they hate men oh and they especially hate straight white conservative christian men of power mm. because it's the straight white conservative christian man who's holding the country together oh if it wasn't for them america would be a socialist society already it would be what a socialist society how would it become because socialist? if you see if you notice the average black man has no authority no power the mexican doesn't have any is that mm -hmm. white straight conservative christian man that is preventing them from turning this country 
into a you know a socialist society. But so here, let me ask you about this. I'm not a socialist myself. I'm a social de- just to be clear. I'm I'm I don't I'm not advocating for socialism. Okay. I don't know that many actual socialists. Like who would. Who, where's the big desire for the U.S. to become socialist? If you look at the Democratic Party. There's a, almost no socialists in the Democratic Party. It's a socialist party. communist party now. It's so what's, one, what's one socialist it, idea from the Democratic Party? Um, uh, socialized health care. No, nope, that's a social, no. social democracy Mm-mm. program. No. Yeah. And Is Denmark notice, socialist? And if you notice that Barack Obama, the fallen messiah, you know he's the fallen messiah, right? I don't know anything yeah, about that. Fall, and Big Mama Michelle. Uh, he tried to turn America into a socialist society. What's one example of a socialist policy that he had? Uh, socialized health care. He didn't do that. He um, did for-profit Obamacare. Taking care of everybody. How so? Uh, by getting rid of jobs. Many people, most people... He took people care of people by getting rid, rid of, of jobs. full-time jobs, and they had to work two part-time jobs in order to survive. Jesse, you and don't even the understand rest, the talking points the you're still The rest stopped working and just went and depended on and relied on the government. Free Obama phones. That's socialism. Is that socialism. You're te- so how can you? So free Obama phones. Socialism. I want to ask a real question. I'm asking you a real question. Obama phones are not socialism. No, really? I'll answer your question. Let me ask you a real. Re- there's a. Re- I really want to know this. The arguments against places like Venezuela and Cuba, and other so-called socialist countries, are that no one has anything. No one can afford anything. There's no technology. There's no food. But you're saying that cell phones for people are socialism. Yeah. Is that that's your argument? Yes. All right. Have That's added. an example of it. Um, so I, I, w- I mean, holy guacamole. That is, that is the only saying that is fit for what we're seeing here. You're talking about like, it's almost like David is speaking to a child about economic philosophy. It's like, it's so crazy to watch. It's like, this guy is a grown man, but when he talks, he sounds like he's... The arguments and information that he puts forward are those that would essentially be propagated by, um, I mean, even little children, I don't think are that dumb. I mean, it's insane. I mean, first of all, and and the thing is, I don't really expect much. Uh, He may be the Noam Chomsky of the right. That's a joke, of course. But, you know, he says socialized health care is socialist or that it's communist, which is, is obviously very stupid because if you know what socialism is, the definition, like, A socialist country is a country in which the industries are worker-owned. The workers own the industry. Um, Now, there can be socialist programs within countries. That would be an example of that. But that doesn't make, that doesn't actually make the nation socialist. Uh, Otherwise, what you would have is every other industrialized nation in the entire world is socialist. So essentially, I mean, according to Jesse Lee Peterson, the Noam Chomsky of the right, uh, he, you know, the entire rest of the world, entire rest of the modernized developed world is socialist. I mean, you know what I mean? And did you hear him say Big Mama Michelle? I've never heard that before, but for some reason that made me die of laughter. This dude really said Big Mama Michelle, and he's sort of trying to paint like, uh, obviously... This the whole premise of this conversation about socialism really is set on the foundation by Jesse Lee Peterson that, you know, the straight white male is saving the country because, uh, you know, these these Mexicans and these brown people want this power and they're not letting them have it because, you know, they're trying to hold the nation together with the super glue. Uh, They're trying to hold it together, man, because, oh, my gosh, it's eroding really fast and they're saving it. So the. (laughs) The premise in of itself is so hilarious that I can't I can't stop laughing at it. It's so damn hilarious. And then and then, you know, even David's like because when David said, you know, that's not socialist. I, I, sh- I was like I was thinking like, dude, Obama didn't even do that. So it's like you didn't even need to say that because that never ended up happening anyways. Um, and, and then I was like, oh, OK, and because he actually points it out. He goes, well, Obama didn't even do that. Like he did for-profit corporate health care. If you think about it, Obamacare is a gift because you know what it does, right? It's literally a mandate. You literally get penalized if you are not to purchase insurance through the private system. That is crazy. That, I mean, that philosophically speaking, you're helping out the private health care insurance companies. Um, and then Jesse Lee Peterson says, you know, uh, he helped them by getting rid of their jobs. 
So you get rid of their full-time jobs and they have to pick up part-time jobs. Wh what? I don't even know what that means. What does that even mean? He got rid of his job so that he's helping them out. I mean, obviously, the real the question would be, how the hell does that help someone? But, like, how did he do that? What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean, dude? Nothing this guy says actually makes any actual legitimate, coherent sense. None of it. And that's obvious. I mean, that should be something that is um, already known, right, before we even jump to the into the video in the first place. But I have no idea what the hell he's talking about. Um, obviously... I feel like a fool even attempting to, you know, even debunking these points because it, it almost makes it seem like I'm taking his point seriously, which is not what I want to come off as. But obviously anybody who knows anything about the Obama administration, the Obama presidency, he had record private sector job gains, record private sector gains all around, record public sector job gains, everything, because he got a he got an economy out of the Great Recession. So the number increases were pretty damn huge. And I have no clue what he's talking about. And then he brings up the Obama phone thing, uh, which I guess were phones. But I didn't even really know much about those, to be honest with you. Um, I really only heard of those as a gimmick at one point, uh, maybe by Fox News or something like that. But really, and, and David sort of points out like the, the uh, absurdity, the ridiculousness of the notion that giving phones is socialism are you kidding me are you kidding me your evidence of socialism is giving phones to some people how is that socialism it doesn't make any sense it doesn't make any basic sense and again i have to repeat it's like i feel stupid even entertaining these ideas as if they're legitimate because it gives off this idea that, oh, like, this dude is legit. No, Jesse Lee Peterson is not legit. But that that's going to sort of wrap up the, <laughs> the analysis on this part. I'm, I'm going to love this, though, because there's so many interesting parts to look at in this. But just remember that Jesse Lee Peterson had declined a debate with Kyle Klinsky. Could you imagine if he actually ended up doing that debate with Kyle Klinsky? That would be so lit. I was actually, I was advocating for that. I, I, I wanted that to happen because had that actually happened, it would have been, <laughs> it would have been so entertaining. Um, but unfortunately, that did not end up panning out because I guess he didn't want to do it. He backed out. But this is the, you know, most intellectual conversation about socialism we've had uh, since the Milton Friedman and Noam Chomsky days, Noam Chomsky in his heyday. Uh, because the new Noam Chomsky of the right uh, is Jesse Lee Peterson. 